What is good internet? It is Spirit of Paradox here and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be starting issue number 5 of The Ultimate, Hulk Does Manhattan. And in this issue, the Hulk fights the Ultimate. I've always loved this issue, even in my early years as a kid because this was the issue that I started with getting into the ultimate. In fact, it was one Christmas, my mother bought me a Grey Hulk action figure made by Diamond Marvel Select, and I got the ultimate Grey Hulk figure. The one that was more black than grey, but I actually do have the reissue, and they got his colours right with that one. But in both of the boxes on the back, they both had a picture of issue number 5 of the Ultimates, and it had Ultimate Hulk on it, which was appropriate for the figure. And ever since then, I have been a fan of Ultimate Hulk and the Ultimates in general. But enough talk, let's start. Issue number 5 of the Ultimates, Hulk Does Manhattan. We begin with Giant Man being flown in with a bunch of helicopters and he sees all of the destruction Bruce has done as the Hulk in New York City and he says oh my god did Banner really do all of this in just 10 minutes? In the next page we go to General Fury and he says according to the sat pics he's murdered dozens of people, drunk a truck full of beer and right now he looks like he's stealing a huge pair of pants from a fat corpse giant man. You imagine what he's gonna do when he catches that girlfriend of his with Freddie Prince Jr? Wasp on the line hears through and she says I still can't believe he tried to justify taking the Hulk serum again by saying he just wanted to give the team something newsworthy to fight. Still, at least this little antidote he left out for us seems kosher enough, right down to the little adamantium tipped needle. Iron Man says all completely useless of course unless we get close enough to inject him. Any word back from Thor? Just got an email saying he'd be happy to help if President Bush doubles down on the international aid budget Iron Man. And then he says, wonderful, so we're effectively out here on our own, right? Captain America says, four against one is still pretty good odds Stark. Besides, I haven't lost a fight since 1942 and I have no intention of losing one now. And then we see the Hulk causing mayhem in Manhattan, shouting for Betty. But I can't lie here people, this is one of the most creepiest images of the Hulk I have ever seen. Like one eye closed, shouting at the top of his lungs, fingers looking all crooked and shit. I just leap in towards the camera, like, yeah, bro, <laughs> like, they were trying to go for a savage look here, and they did that with flying colours. The Hulk jumps and leaps onto a building, causing it to shake, and we see all of the windows breaking open, and he's climbing up towards Betty Ross and Freddie Prince Jr., and we see them trying to get away from all the broken glass. And as the Hulk is climbing up the building, he shouts, Get away from Freddy Prince Jr, Betty, you're supposed to be Banner's girlfriend. And then we see Betty on the phone saying, Oh my god, he's found us, Nick. That deranged little freak's figured out where Freddy and I were eating. The Hulk shouts, Banner too much of a woman for you, Betty? Maybe it's time you gave Hulk a try, huh? And then here we see is Betty on the phone shouting at the top of her lungs saying, What do you mean sit tight? Can you hear what this lunatic's saying he's going to do to me? I want Captain America down here now, Nick. I want Tony Stark and every freaking super weapon he's got. The Hulk shouts, Hulk's gonna get you no matter who they said, Betty. Hulk hornier than her. And then he gets interrupted by Giant Man's hands. Giant Man manages to get a grip of the Hulk and he says, oh for God's sake, shut up Banner, you're giving science a bad name. Then someone on the radio says, base to ground team, Captain America wants everything cleared from Battery Park to Harlem. I repeat, 
clear battery park to Harlem so they could soften up the Hulk and deliver that antidote, guys. And then Giant Man decides to make the biggest mistake of his life and tries to calm down the Hulk. He says, okay, take a deep breath and chill out there, Bruce. I'm going to count to ten and then I want to my, take away my hands and I want to see you looking nice and relaxed. Is that clear enough for you, little man? And then the worst thing happens. Hulk bursts out of his fingers looking pissed off. And then he jumps right onto Giant Man's face. Wasp is shouting like Hank, as if that's going to do anything. Sorry, sorry, Wasp. This beating was well overdue. I have no sympathy for Giant Man. You violate Ultimate Bruce. The Ultimate Hulk violates you. Simple as that. So, the Hulk is still beating the crap out of Giant Man, and Giant Man's just falling through buildings at this point. And the Hulk shouts, You will always make Banner look like an idiot in front of Betty, Pim. Now, that's why Hulk's gonna tear your head off and then use your skull as a toilet bowl. And then we hear Iron Man, oh my god, he's going to kill Hank, somebody back him up, somebody back him up. And as the Hulk is getting ready to tear a giant man's head off, giant, oh, not giant man, Iron Man saves him by blasting him into the next room. Moving at jet speed, Iron Man with the Hulk says, take it easy Jan, I've got him Nick, I need a big empty building I can slam Banner into, what can you do for me? Evacuation crews are clearing out everything within a three mile radius, Tony. Give me ten more seconds and I'll punch up a zip code for you. Iron Man says, ten more seconds and this lunatic would have peeled his way to my G-string, General. I need something now. Fury on the line says, Grand Central has just been evacuated. You're good to go. I repeat, you're good to go. And then we see Iron Man slam the Hulk into Grand Central Station and he says thank you. Wasp attends to the reinforcements outside and she says okay, Iron Man's just bought us 5 minutes to downsize my husband and attend to his injuries gentlemen. Fire Team 12, I want those vehicles cleared on the left hand side. Science Crew 1, he's going to need 200 mils of that shrinking hormone. The next page we go to Iron Man fighting the Hulk and Nick Fury is talking to him over the radio and he says Tony, it's Nick, we're minus visual for 30 seconds, give me a sip rep man, are you okay in there? And as he's blasting the Hulk, Iron Man says, are you kidding? First the silo door jams and they take 8 minutes to launch me and now the sights in this thing are knocked 6 inches to the left. The Hulk shouts, shut up dog breath, and the Nick's on the radio shouting, Tony. The Hulk shouts as well, little man smells like canned meat, Hulk wanna know if he tastes like canned meat too. And then he grabs hold of Iron Man's head and he rips off his helmet. And while Nick Fury's shouting, Tony, for the love of God, what's happening down there? And that the Hulk's getting ready to try and eat Iron Man, and he says, Hulk hungry little man. And then Iron Man has a, has an ace up his sleeve and he shouts, eat this moron. So you're probably asking, Paradox, what is the strength level of Ultimate Hulk in the Ultimate Universe? Well, in the Ultimate Universe, the Hulk is not powered by gamma radiation, but two strains of the Super Soldier Serum. In Ultimate Origins issue number 4, the Hulk gets created from the Super Soldier Serum that was in a vial of Nick Fury's blood. This created the green version of the Hulk, who is a much more weaker version in the Ultimate Universe. He was capable of lifting a few cars in the Ultimate Team-Up prequels to the Ultimate Universe, but he was a lot less intelligent, but he was also not as strong. In Ultimate issue number 4 and 5, Bruce Banner manages to recreate the Hulk serum again but merges it with Captain America's blood, giving him a much increased boost to his strength and turning him grey. But notably, there has been some colour inconsistencies but he is still not as strong as his 616 counterpart. 
In the Ultimate Universe, the Hulk is definitely the strongest person with Super Soldier Serum pumping through his veins, but I would also say he's at base the double the strength of Ultimate Captain America. Also has the factor, the angrier he gets, the stronger he gets, is also here in the Ultimate Universe, but scales at a much slower rate compared to his 616 counterpart. And then there's the personality differences between Ultimate Hulk and 616 Hulk. In the Ultimate Universe, Hulk is not the personification of Bruce Banner's rage, but more of the personification of Bruce Banner's inner demon. Think his repressed emotions, his dark desires, his rage, his love, for example. In this issue, we see Hulk display multiple emotions that Bruce Banner keeps locked away in his human form. So when you see Hulk display jealousy towards Betty Ross or hatred for certain members in the Ultimates, that's not the Hulk. That's Bruce's actual demons towards these things being let out. As much as I love this version of the Hulk, Mark Millar did not do a very good job in explaining these attributes of his personality. Multiple people come across the Ultimate Universe and have an issue with this version of the Hulk, but Mark Millar just didn't do a good job in explaining why he was like that. Even to this day, people bring it up and they still don't know why Hulk is like that, so in my opinion, if most people don't understand why the Hulk is like this, that he didn't do a very good job in explaining it in my opinion. After disorientating the Hulk, Iron Man says, Nick, this is a nightmare. I'm on 25% power and the those thought scramblers are only going to slow him down for another few seconds. If I empty my reserves at him, can you cover me long enough to support juice me up again? Fury over the radio says, back up is ready and waiting Tony. Just hit him with whatever you're packing, Super Trooper. Wasp, you're up next. Cap wants Banner on 42nd and 50th Street, ASAP. You copy? The Wasp says Roger that, as the Hulk gets blasted out of Grand Central Station onto the streets of Manhattan. The Wasp gets the Hulk's attention by showing off her rack, and she says, Hey Banner, Betty Ross got a rack as nice as these? Fury adds and says a double PhD and the only way you could think of to distract the Hulk is with a Mardi Gras special and then Wasp responds with oh give me a break Nick it worked didn't it and Tony was listening to that conversation and he says it worked like a dream darling I swear to god 5,000 blondes flashed before my eyes back there as Wasp is distracting the Hulk she says Nick it's Jan again for God's sake, say Cap's ready to relieve me because I really don't think this guy is going to go down with a stupid little wasp sting. And then Nick Fury says to her, Cap's ready to relieve you Jan, fall back. And then she flies away from the Hulk and get a good distance away and then this strike hits the Hulk leaving this blast in the street. And then Captain America comes in in a battle tank and he says over the radio, shock absorbers are working beautifully general, tell the boys in the tech division they did a bang up job. And then Fury tells him, just watch your rear end there captain, eye in the sky heat traces are picking up movement beneath your underside of yours. Captain America says, relax soldier, everything is going exactly as planned, and then he looks behind him, and then we start to see the Hulk tear into the tank as if it was made out of toilet paper, and then he straight up tears Captain America out of it, and then they start getting into the nitty gritty fighting people. Captain America doesn't hesitate in landing some haymakers on the Hulk. He punches him in the nose, he kicks him in the balls, he uppercuts him with the shield and he lands him on his ass. As much as I love this fight, it gets taken out of context a lot here. People run off with the idea that Captain America is stronger in the Ultimate Universe because of what he does to the Hulk here. He really isn't. I would say he's right on par with 616 Cap. It's Ultimate Hulk here who's weaker. Hulk is not powered by gamma radiation in the Ultimate Universe, but two forms of Super Soldier Serum. 
One from Nick Fury's blood that created the Hulk in his green form, which was significantly weaker than the form that he is in right now. And then he mixed the serum that created the Hulk and mixed it with Captain America's blood, making him stronger and grey. Not to take away anything from Captain America, but he is fighting a much weaker version of the Hulk here. As Captain America is getting ready to inject the Hulk with the antidote, Fury asks Cap, you just take down the Hulk? And he responds with, Banner's not the only one around here with super soldier serum pumping through his heart chum. Now get me a medical team pronto, because this little guy isn't going to be in the best shape after I stick this antidote in his neck. The Hulk overhears this and he grabs Captain America's hand and he says no and he crushes the antidote in his hand as Captain America screams. The Hulk pounces on Captain America and says get that thing away and then Wasp oversees this and she says oh my god he broke the needle. Also. Ultimate Adamantium is not as durable compared to its 616 version. In this universe, the Hulk has managed to break Adamantium twice, here in the Needle and also Ultimate Wolverine. He managed to tear him in half and his entire body was encoded, or his bones were encoded in Adamantium as well. One of the S.H.I.E.L.D.'s agents says, What do we do now, General? Even with Banner's notes, Tech Figure says they're about 120 minutes away from another replacement. Then Nick Fury says, We do exactly what Cap strategized, homeboy. Ready to nuke for the backup plan. As the Hulk is pounding on Captain America, he shouts, Hulk thought you were different, but you're just as bad as the rest of them, Rogers. Hulk is gonna smash your head open and suck out the yolk, you ugly piece of crap. As the Hulk is getting ready to kill Captain America, Fury shouts on the radio, Fury to all points, Fury to all points, defend Cap, I repeat, defend Captain America. And then lightning comes down from the sky and then saves Captain America by hitting the Hulk, sending him flying. And then we see General Fury say, what in God's name? And then somebody else says, is that Thor? And then Thor arrives just in the nick of time to save Captain America from the Hulk. And he comes down with ultimate Mjolnir and he's ready to deal some hate towards the Hulk. Ultimate Thor holds nothing back and he pummels the Hulk so hard until the point he makes a crater into the street. Debris is flying, lightning is everywhere and cars are flying and Thor just doesn't seem to stop. He just seems to be swinging and swinging and then he stops and says your jaw is broken, your ribs are cracked and one of your lungs have just been punctured Banner. Have you tasted enough of Mjolnir yet? And then after all of that hard work, Hulk is just like, nah, Thor's hammer just made Hulk horny for Betty again, hippie. And then Hulk sends Thor flying with a single punch. After seeing Thor go flying, General Fury says, okay, the more we antagonize this creep, the stronger he seems to get. So Captain America wants us to fall back and reserve initiative, boys and girls. Betty Ross and Freddie Prince Jr. are getting on a plane to evacuate the city and Nick Fury updates Captain America and says, Cap, this is Nick. Prince and Ross are in the air, buddy. I repeat, the honey trap is in the air, just like you requested. Over. And then we see the Hulk fighting Iron Man and Cap and Captain America says, Roger that, General. The Hulk hears some of what Nick Fury says to Captain America and he says, what did he say? Where's Betty? What have you done with Banner's girlfriend as he has Captain America by the throat? Captain America says she's in the air meatball and as he bites down on the Hulk's hand. The Hulk looks up into the sky and sees the airlifts flying away from the city and he shouts Betty. He tosses Captain America aside and he starts jumping and bounding across the buildings trying to get to Betty Ross and he shouts, get back here Betty. 
The Hulk manages to get onto the helicopter and he shouts, don't leave Banner alone again, as the airlift is shaking and everybody inside holding on for dear life. The Hulk is hanging on by the end of the helicopter and he shouts, Freddy Prince can't love you like Banner does Betty. Betty is all that Banner has. And then we go back to the ground and Thor asks, what do you think you're doing to Captain America? And did he respond with, what does it look like? Luring Banner out to sea in case we're forced to opt for the tactical nuclear assault, of course. Thor says, you're using them as bait? But Captain America keeps his cool and he says, only if the other three plans I have on standby, take a dive. Wasp, are you inside Banner's head and ready for the assault plan three yet, sweetheart? As Wasp is crawling inside the Hulk's head, she says, en route to his frontal lobes, Captain. The one part of Banner's body that's still as soft as human as we are. Fury says, you mind filling us on what's going on here, Wasp? Is this some kind of lobotomy you're cooking up or what? And she says, no, just a little Wasp sting to the portion of his brain that makes him big, bad and angry, General. The wasp finally crawls to his frontal lobe and then she says, wish me luck. Captain America's plan goes off without a hitch and the wasp disorientates the Hulk. Betty Ross shouts for Bruce as he falls away from the airlift and then she says, oh my god, Bruce, and then we see the Hulk crash land into a harbour. Captain America and the Wasp make it to where the Hulk crash landed and they're greeted with Bruce Banner and he says, don't hurt me please. They get closer to Bruce as he reveals his plan and he says, I was only trying to help. This was all a part of the plan you see. I was trying to come up with a menace you could all get together and fight. You do understand, don't you? I mean, I hope you aren't going to punch me or kick me or anything, because I really couldn't handle that kind of thing right now, Cap. Captain America says, don't be ridiculous. Why would I hit you, Bruce? You're a part of the gang, for God's sake. A part of the team. I just came here to make sure those cuts and bruises of yours get the proper attention, pal. Now come here. Let me take a closer look at that big gash on your cheek. And then Bruce Banner says, but I haven't got a big gash on my cheek. And then Captain America kicks Bruce in the face. And then he says, you do now, son. Dig out a straight jacket in a size 34, General. We're bringing him in. And that's the end of issue number five of The Ultimate. Yes, people, that was Hulk Does Manhattan. And I absolutely love this issue, man. Even with its flaws in its writing, I would say, it's always been one of those issues of comics that I've always just gone back to and always enjoyed reading. So, now that we've got to issue number five of The Ultimates, we are going to be taking a little break on this run and we're going to be covering Ultimate Spider-Man now. I know it's been taking a very long time for me to get there, I know, sorry, I've just been really busy in personal life, but I'm going to be getting to it real soon. We're going to start that along with the second episode of Dark Ultimate next week. But thank you very much for watching, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are fans of the Ultimate Universe, this is the channel you want to be on. I'm going to be uploading content about the Ultimate Universe onto the channel, and I'm going to be doing this as a lead up to the upcoming event ultimate invasion which i've been covering here on the channel that is set to release june 21st this year and i'm going to be covering that story on the channel as well so make sure you like share and subscribe thank you for all of your continued support and i will see you in the next one take care